Hey everyone, welcome back. I uh, hope your Monday went well. Today uh, we're going to be continuing along with our devotion, focusing on uh, God's will. So we're going to take a look this morning uh, at 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. So it starts out like this. It says, Rejoice always, pray constantly, and give thanks in everything, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So when we're reading that part, again, it's all here in God's will for us. We're always at people are asking, what is God's will? What does God want for me? What does God want us to do? Well, when we look in his word, when we when we read carefully, we're going to notice that he tells us what his will is. And so here specifically, it says, when we give thanks in everything, this is God's will for us in Christ Jesus. Right. And how do we turn those words into the character that God wants for us, which is to be joyful, it's to be prayerful, and it's to be thankful. So he wants that for us. He wants us to be a joyful people. He wants us to, to always be in prayer, and he wants us to, to always, you know, have thanksgiving. And I think that when, when you turn God's commandments into um, character traits, that's when you begin to understand who he wants you to be in order to find. That's right. And so, you know what, if you're thinking today, you're saying, okay, what is God's will for me? What does God want me to do? Well, don't be looking at what his, um, you know, what direction he wants you to go, but think about what he says in the Bible. What he tells all of us as believers is to rejoice, to pray, and to give thanks in everything. And so start right there. And once we start there where God is in his word, then he will bring us to wherever else he wants us to go. So we're going to pray. Go ahead. Okay. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. Father, thank you for um, your word. Thank you for your um, commandments that um, we, can, we can hear, that we can um, hide in our hearts, Father, uh, just to... Um, to help us to, to figure out who you want us to be, how you want us to live, and how we can find fullness and completion in you. Father, I pray for this day um, that we would just see you and hear you, um, and that you would um, just be in our hearts, in our thoughts, and in our words. In the name of your Son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, listen, we'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday. Uh, wake up early, spend some time with us, and uh, we'll see how God works in your day. Thank you.